Welcome. The purpose of this video is to get OpenVOS or GVM scanner up and running. And the second one is if you've ever tried to do this and you run a scan and it says failed config error, we're going to go ahead and try to solve that too. So if you're watching this, uh, it worked or I would have deleted the video and not run it. So before you get started, I've used a brand new version of Kali Linux. So what I did is I just went to Kali.org download. I downloaded a brand new version of Kali Linux today, March 28th, 2023. And I just ran um, sudo apt update. I didn't do a full upgrade. I didn't do a distro upgrade. I just did a quick update. And we're going to go ahead and move forward with that. If you don't have a fresh Kali Linux load, go ahead, build it, put it in a new folder and say, hey, this is my GVM scanner. And that's what I'm going to use to walk through the building and execution of a GVM scan. Let's go ahead and move over to our Kali Linux screen. Go ahead and share that screen. And if I select the terminal window, control shift plus to move it up a little bit. Um, go ahead and this is a brand new load, but I'm still gonna go ahead and do super user um, apt update to go ahead and make sure um, I have the cleanest copy. I could also do a uh, apt full upgrade, a distribution upgrade. Those take like a half hour or so, maybe 60 minutes, but I'm just go, gonna go ahead and um, do this to clean it up a bit and it should work fine. Um, I may pause to see if this takes a couple of minutes, but I think it should be fast. Yeah, there we go. That was pretty fast. So we'll clear the screen. And if I click the icon up top and go ahead and search GVM, you'll notice there's nothing there. So we need to go ahead and install it. So again, you want to do all these stuff with super user just to make sure the installation goes well. Um, so let's install GVM. Looks right. And that's going to go ahead and um, install the application. Shouldn't take too long. The setup is what really takes long. But now that I've done this, if I go ahead and click the icon again and search GVM, notice now I have check setup, feed update, initial setup, start and stop. I'm not going to do the initial setup button because I want to make sure it's executed again um, with administrative um, privileges. So I'll just do it manually. So clear to clear the screen. And I'm going to do apt, no, not. I'm going to do GVM. What is it? GVM. Um, I think it's just that. Uh, yeah, but with super user. Now, this one's going to take a bit, probably about a half hour. So I will pause it and come back to it um, as it loads the um, initial setup for GVM and it's going to load all of those um, packages and different scripts and all the things it's going to do when it does the actual scanning. So it does take quite a bit of time. So it's been like 25 minutes, still going. I'll let you know when we're done. Okay, there we go. Wow, that was a solid 36 minutes, something like that. So this is the most, wake up. This was a while for me. I guess this hasn't been too long. Most important part of this entire thing is here's your user created password. So there's an admin account. You really want to grab, grab this. There's ways to recover without it. Still not fun. And I'm just going to stick it in a clipboard on another screen. So once I have my password, I'm going to need that to get into it. So GVM is loaded. So the next thing we want to do is um, go ahead and uh, check it. I guess let's check it. I was going to say start it up, but let's do sudo GVM check. Is there another dash? Find up. GVM check setup. There we go. And this will tell you if everything installed okay. I think this will run maybe 30 seconds or so, so I might not pause for it. Um, it's possible that there were some problems in the installation. And if this doesn't work, you can troubleshoot it, or you can take a clean sweep from your 
fresh Cali version anyway, uh, unzip it and go again. What I like to do is um, before I do any of this, if I go to the Cali icon and just say power, you see the power manager. I like to go into there and turn off the power saving, the screen saver and all this. So these half hour processes uh, don't get interrupted. This is good. It said uh, installation seems to be okay. And let's see if it's running. So we'll do a net stat. I want to just see um, live by number TCP protocol and the process ID to see what's running on our machine. And if I scroll up, uh, this is good news. So on port 9392, um, it's listening. And this is where this client server application runs, which is Open VOS or GVM, the Greenbone Vulnerability Scanner. So we can just now open up Firefox and let's just go to it and take a look at it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to that port. Here we go on our machine. So if I paste that, go to port 9392 on local machine, let's add HTTPS and hit enter. I uh, didn't get what I wanted, what I did wrong. Try that again. Not sure, but that's what I wanted. So I don't have a secure HTTPS certificate or anything loaded. So I'm just going to go to advanced, accept the risk. Um, it is my local virtual machine. And here we go. So we log in as admin. I think I still have in the clipboard. No, I don't. So I'm going to go get the password that the end of the installation had, put that in there and sign in to the, um, sure, we'll go ahead and save it. We're gonna change the password later. So now we're there. In theory, this should work. Um, in practice, it's not going to work. Uh, I'd be super surprised, maybe we'll get lucky. But over here is where I can go ahead and change my password. I won't do that right now. If I go to scans, um, I just go ahead and click the scans. I could also click the tasks. You'll see that there's a task wizard. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit, hit the task wizard and try to do a scan. Um, I could just do local host right now. I think it's not gonna work. So I'm just gonna go ahead and enter instead of hitting a different IP address. And this is kind of the screen of death, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and make a copy of this too for myself. And what this is, is this failed to find config database, right? So it the scan won't work because the scanners aren't loaded and the database isn't configured. This is the million dollar question, how do I fix it and why? So let's go ahead and cancel this out and um, see, see exactly what's happening. So if I hit administration, you can actually configuration, I can see different scanners and scan configurations and they're, they're not gonna be, well, let's hit scanners. I'll see it says CVE and open VOS default. There should be a bunch of them in there. And if I go to configuration scan configs, none available. So this is problematic and that's why it said it didn't work. So if I go to administration and I say the feed status, this is, this is the issue here. You can see that my feeds are in progress, right? It takes a while for these to update I've run this, I've let it run for hours and hours and it doesn't, doesn't um, update it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this over a bit. I'm gonna take my terminal window, slide that over a bit. And at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and update my feeds. Probably other ways to do it. This seemed to work for me. I'm gonna leave that update in progress while the service is running, I'm on my web interface, I'm going to have a, in another terminal window, update the feeds. Um, eventually, maybe a half hour to an hour, these updates will uh, populate, which will populate my scan configuration, which will populate my scans, and everything's fine. So how I do that is I'll go sudo. Again, always sudo everything. GVM feed. I think it's update. Yep, feed update. Now I'm click that. This is going to take a bit, um, not as long as the others, but when it's finished and it closes out, it's not finished. 
right? Because we'll see that our GVM isn't actually populated. So at this point, um, I'll probably pause it till this screen is finished. But even though this screen is finished, a lot of these things we have already loaded, but it didn't um, finish uploading into the GVM scanner. So when the process stops, you're not finished until those uh, update in progress um, screens all say current. So you can see on the left terminal window, all of my feeds are updated. That probably only took about two minutes. What I'm gonna wanna do is I'm gonna wanna leave this here until um, I can get all four of the feed status to say current. I may have to do a refresh or go back around to make sure I have the current screen displayed to me, but it, it certainly won't work in less than 15 minutes. So we'll come back in a little while. All right, well, this finished out, truth be told, this, uh, I don't know how long it was because I had a class. So this is hours later and raining outside. So hopefully that doesn't mess up the sound, but you can see that all four of those feeds did update. Could have took 30 minutes. I don't know, could have took an hour. If uh, you do this, go ahead and put it in the comments about how long um, this took for you, that would be handy. But now that we have it, we'll go ahead and maximize this screen. And if we go to configuration, we take a look at scanner configurations. We can see this updated. This is what we needed. So we have a base scan, for example, full and fast scan, host discovery, um, log for shell. So all of the scans are there, which was the configurations that gave us that error. Um, so now if we just go to scans and tasks, we can start our own task. We can start it with the, the new task button and just fill it all out and see now there's scan configs that we can choose from. But what I'm going to do is just use the wizard icon. So just click the task wizard. And you just have to put in the IP address. So I have a Metasploitable virtual machine running here at 192.168.71.31. Let's put that in there. 192.168.70.131. Um, that looks correct. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start that scan with the wizard of the Metasploitable virtual machine and lo and behold, thing works fantastic. The scan is started. Once this requested changes to 0%, you can start clicking on it and get the results. But I'll go ahead and let this thing run through. I think a scan of the Metasploitable virtual machine, uh, which is on the same host, so I'm not doing this remotely, um, is still pretty robust, You know, um, very similar to something you would get out of Nessus or something you might get out of the NSE scripts with the vulnerabilities category. Um, it's a great product. So, you know, it's gonna take maybe 10 minutes or so. So let's pause until, okay, we have the 0% show, showed up now. So I could click at it and see the results, but they're not gonna be significant right now. So I'll come back uh, maybe 10 minutes when this scanning is complete. All right, well, that was actually about another half hour. You can see the scan is done. So if I go ahead and click the status bar, um, I'll get the report. And what I'm really looking for is, let's go ahead and click results. And this looks a lot like, um, you know, a professional version of Nessus, where I have all of the vulnerabilities, they're listed by severities. And if I pick one, um, for example, remote login, password list login. It'll give me the summary detection method, a uh, solution to mitigate it. Um, and really a lot of great information from this vulnerability scanner. So this is a quick rundown. Hopefully this video compresses pretty short once I edit it all together, but the whole process takes a solid couple of hours. So um, be patient with it, walk away and, and come back and um, just move on to the next step. This seems to be the cleanest way to do it if you're patient. And um, go ahead and click the subscribe button if you want to get notified of the next videos that come out. I'm going to put two up there. One's going to be if you need more details on getting Kali Linux installed in VMware. And the other one's a video I did a year ago um, with GVM uh, loading it as a trial version virtual machine from Greenbone. Thank you.